Every journalist knows how to tell a story, but selling it is another matter. And sometimes just one image has to tell and sell the whole story. Today, producing podcast art and YouTube thumbnails to ensure your content gets the audience it deserves. G'day, I'm Jonathan Harley and I lead the Journalism and Newsroom Initiative at Canva. Australia's The Daily Oz targets younger news consumers and has been a journalistic leader when it comes to using Canva. Their design work is front and centre on their Insta feeds and their podcast artwork is key to promoting their daily morning dose of news, information and inspiration. How your podcast looks is just as important is how it sounds. And the same can be said for your YouTube thumbnails. You have to say a lot with just one design. And as you launch new content offerings, they need to build on your overall news brand while having their own identity. Making audio content visual or YouTube offerings brand consistent is an ongoing challenge for everyone. And outlets like Global in Europe or the ABC in Australia are showing the way. Today, Maddie, a graphic designer here at Canva, is going to show us how to get started. Podcast artwork is the first thing many listeners will see when they come across your show. It's an important first sign of the quality, tone and content of your podcast. I'll show you in just a few steps how to make beautiful and eye-catching podcast art that's a cinch to update. Canva has many podcast templates to inspire you in the template library. But today we'll start with a branded template as you would for your organization. If you'd like to practice your Canva design skills, we have a workbook for you to use after you've watched this video. You can access it here on your mobile via the QR code or by clicking the link in the video description below. Let's jump into Canva. From the brand templates folder, I'll select one of our 3N branded podcast templates. This file contains a couple of options, one with text and one with the imagery showing the presenter. In this instance, I think I'll use page two. The first step is to update the image. Perhaps we'll feature the presenter for this episode. In this case, the presenter has sent their headshot through. I can save the image to my uploads folder by clicking the upload media button and navigating to find the file. I'll click on the image to bring it into my design and delete the placeholder presenter so I can move the new one into place. The background remover tool is going to be a big help here so this image isn't blocking too much of my text. I can simply click the image and select background remover to remove the background from the image. I love this effect with the image now overlapping the text. The next step is to match the colours of the template, in this case the pink colour from my 3N Entertainment brand. I can use image effects to add colour filters to my image to match the style of this design. I'll click on the image and select Edit Image in the top toolbar. I'll scroll to find the duotone effect and click See All. I'll select Fuchsia, which I think will match this colour palette perfectly. If I hover over my selection, I can see the options for this filter and update the highlights and shadow colours, choosing from my brand colour palette, then adjusting the intensity. I'll keep it to the maximum in this case. That's looking great. I'll adjust the size a little further, then zoom out to make more space and use the tabs on the edges of the image to make her slightly bigger. We're nearly done. I just need to update the text. I'll zoom in again to update her name. Now I'm happy with the design. I can download it by clicking the share menu here and selecting download as PNG or JPEG. I'll untick all the pages as I just want to use page two. Done and ready for uploading to our podcast feed. It's as easy as that. You can create eye-catching podcast cover art in just a few clicks. Now to that other essential distribution platform, YouTube. Journalists at the Australian Broadcasting Corporation use Canva to create dozens of YouTube thumbnails every week across all their tentpole programs. And whatever the news brand, whatever the content play, Canva will help you promote that content. Back to Maddie to show us how. Hello again. Your YouTube thumbnail design will have a huge impact on how many people view your content. 
Your thumbnail is a little billboard for your video. Let's see how to make one easily in Canva. From my brand templates folder, I'm going to choose this ready-made branded thumbnail template which features an athlete. A lot of thumbnails feature faces because people are naturally drawn to look at them. As we can see, this image really draws your eye. I'm going to look for an image to replace this. You might use your own imagery or search our stock library in Canva, which is what I'll do for this demo. I'd like to add a female basketball player. This one looks great, but the background doesn't work with this design. To pop her out from the background, I can simply click the image and select background remover to cut the negative space. Next, I'll just resize this. You can use the tabs on the edge of the image to resize it to get rid of empty space, making the image easier to manipulate. Remember, YouTube thumbnails are viewed at a very small size, often in the palm of someone's hand. So make sure everything has enough space to be seen clearly. Next, I'll click the text to update the scores. Another popular option for the thumbnail design is to use an interesting pull quote from your video that will make people want to learn more. I'll duplicate this page to show you an example. I'm going to add a quote from this basketball player, which is game on. I'll change the text size so it's easily readable. Once I'm happy with the design, I can go over to the share menu here and download both of these in an appropriate file type like PNG or JPEG. To download both pages, I just ensure all pages are ticked and hit the download button. And just like that, you have your very own YouTube thumbnail ready to upload to YouTube. So there you go. Now you've got a rich repertoire of skills and tools to create your YouTube thumbnails and podcast art, create social content, video and infographics. We know the story is what matters to you and we're committed to providing the essential tools for any journalist to tell the best stories they can to the widest audience possible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.